The Department of Defense's National Defense Education Program has added a new tool to its science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education initiative. It's gaming software by Tabula Digita called Dimension M. What sets this video game apart is the student has to solve algebraic problems in order to succeed in the game. The Edgewood Chemical Biological Center, ECBC, is helping Cecil County implement the new software as another tool in the math teacher's toolbox, according to Mary Doak, ECBC STEM Outreach Coordinator. And what we're trying to do is uh, to bring a math intervention program that will help raise um, the awareness and the enthusiasm for students to, to uh, participate in math. Uh, in a 2009 international program study, uh, the U.S. ranked 25th in math. We have to do something about that, and ECBC is trying to do their part to make a difference in our community and the nation. Cecil County Schools math coordinator Georgia Wenzel has worked with ECBC for over two years and says she is excited about utilizing the new software. It appeals to kids who are gamers, and so many of our students who don't get math or don't like math are, they have lots of other wonderful interests that we aren't tapping very well. And so it was very critical that we bring something like this in. And it has been much appreciated with the, uh, the effort that ECBC has put into this. ECBC research biologist Dr. Brady Redman and physical scientist Stephen Harper attended Cecil County's three-day teacher training session to share their real-world experience and their thoughts on the software. It's going to be paramount in the future for the way technology is going and how ECBC is trying to integrate it into the schools. I believe it's important because it becomes full circles because your students today and your STEM programs will be your scientists tomorrow. Terry Politi teaches eighth grade at Elkton Middle School and feels the gaming aspect will have a huge appeal to the students. And I don't think they understand that they're even doing some math in the background sometimes when they're doing it because they just need to continue playing the game. So it's just whatever next step it is for the game. It could have been rolling a die, but instead they're answering a math question, which is great because it's just become second nature, and that's what we want math to be. We want them to just come out with the answer and just apply it to something versus sit there and just learn how to add fractions. Reporting from Elkton, Maryland for Army Technology Live, I'm Dennis Neal.